Hey, I'm Michael O'Hagan, and I would love to win a date with Judd. She's a little bit older than me, but she's still freaking hot, man. And I gotta be honest with you. Dude, There's... dude, it's not, it's not Ashley Judd. It's Judd Apatow. Can you please just get out of my seat? The Come guy on. from the Breakfast Club? Not Breakfast Club, man. Come on, just get behind the camera, please. My name is Michael O'Hagan, and I've had the privilege of serving in uniform for the past 22 years. I started out on active duty, and I've continued to serve in a reserve capacity. I'm currently assigned as a captain with a combat rescue wing out of Long Island, New York. I've been very fortunate that in this time that I've served, I've managed to luckily stay out of harm's way, thank God. And I've cut. We gotta cut it. You think it's smart to say that you, you didn't you didn't have any you know injuries or anything? Dude, You're gonna be keeping no, against no cuts. War, but... No cuts. I just say you, no you cuts, got shot. Joe. Say no, you no, got no. shot. I'm not gonna say I got shot. I never got shot. In the military, I served as a videographer, and then I continued on. And um, after I went to combat video documentation school, I went to school at Rutgers and got my degree in film and video production. And then I got commissioned and became a public affairs officer, and that's what I do now. And I definitely... Dude, I got it. You look right into the camera and tell him this is how I killed Osama bin Laden. I didn't kill Osama bin Laden, Joe. You know, you think they're going to check? That, that's, that's just... that was a secret. Top I know secret. it's a secret, man. It's a secret. Let's keep it a secret. It could be you. Let's keep it a secret, right? All right. My motivation to serve to begin with, uh, truthfully, was not one of... Um, you know, a call to duty, as some might say. It was more that I, in my life at that time, I kind of lacked direction and focus, and I was kind of more hoping that the military would be a wake-up call, and it proved to be exactly that. And uh, I think as I served and I continued to serve, it, that changed, that transformed over time, and then it became more of a sense of duty and honor and uh, purpose and pride in belonging to something bigger than myself where I felt I could really make a difference in the world. Sorry, what? what? Dude, throw this on. I think that says dude, Army. I'm not going to throw this on. I was in the Air Force. I'm not in the Army. But thank you, man. I really thank you. You sure? It's going to... No, uh, no, no, If no, you no. want it. Why do I think I'm a good candidate for this opportunity? I think I've always been a storyteller ever since I was a kid. I love telling stories. I love laughing. I've seen most of Judd's films. And i got to say, uh, his sense of humor absolutely resonates with me. I love his movies. My family and friends do. I was a videographer. And then I came into becoming a public affairs listen, officer. Still not feeling it. I got an idea. You're gonna want to show off your physical skills. So maybe if you give me your, you get me in like a chokehold, and I look into camera, and I'm I'm like, oh no, you know what I mean? And I can pretend that you're. Uh, no, I'm gonna pretend. Let's. Bottom line is, I've had 22 years to prove I have what it takes to make it in the military world. Give me a chance to prove I have what it takes to make it in your world. Thank you.